Hi guys, welcome Hello. back to my channel. 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 Can you do it? <laughs> <laughs> Okay guys, um, since that um, kamay nyo nyo hin, uh, I mean, wait, so since that, uh, <laughs> don't laugh, what? okay, um, so since that kamay new year or Cambodia new year is coming the next week, so I am here with my friend again, I will ask him about kamay new year, so okay. yeah. I'll ask you about that, okay? So I have a list of questions here. I think only eight questions. Please do not forget to subscribe my YouTube channel under my social media accounts. I will put it here or here. And also my friend Von Hart. Okay, so before we are going to the questions, um, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, my Facebook page and TikTok account. Okay. Please do not forget guys, okay? Do it first now, okay? <laughs> so let's start. So the first question is, okay. what is Khmer New Year? Well, Khmer New Year is one of the um, greatest traditional and also it is one of the um, greatest um, national holidays in Cambodia. Okay. Yes. Yes. And um, in the Philippines, we also have New Year and I think there's a sound. Okay. Some music, music, music. So, guys, in the Philippines, we also have New Year, but we don't have a specific name for it. We just uh, say it a New Year. So, actually, um, it is also one of the traditional event or traditional festival or event in and the first day of the year in uh, in the Philippines. Mm. Yes. For the second question, uh, when you usually celebrate the Kamai New Year? We celebrate this every year. It's sometime four days or three days. And uh, we celebrate it in every um, April um, 14, 15, and 16. Or 13, 14, or 15, 16. Okay. Like that. Yeah. I got it. So guys, um, in the Philippines, we always um, celebrate our New Year in the 1st of January. So let's proceed with the next question, number three. How do you say Happy New Year? In Khmer? Yeah, in Khmer. In our language. In Khmer, we say Rik Rei Bon Chol Chnam Khmer. Rik Rei Bon Chum Chnam Khmer. Rik Rei Rik Rei Bon Chol Chnam Khmer. Yes. Okay, I get it. <laughs> yes. And then uh, for the question number four, let's proceed because in the Philippines we didn't say anything. We just say Happy New Year and Happy New Year only. Happy New Year. <laughs> Happy New Year. So for the question number four, um, what is your religion in Cambodia? Oh, okay. So in Cambodia, we believe in Buddha. But, um, you know, some people also believe in Jesus or um, Islam or something like that. But mostly in Cambodia, we um, we, we um, respect the Buddhism. Oh, okay. Yeah. So um, in the Philippines, um, I was just want you to tell also that um, we have a lot of religion in the Philippines. Yeah. We have Muslim, we have Catholic. I am Catholic and also born again. We also have a lot of religion, but we believe only in a one. Um, it's only Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yes. It's and like it, it's also like Cambodia. We also have a lot of religions, but um, mostly mm -hmm. uh, our belief is in you know Buddhism. Yeah. Okay. So for the number five question, what do you? I mean, what are the foods do you prefer? Do you prefer? <laughs> what are? <laughs> what are the foods do you prepare for the Khmer New Year? Oh, so well. Actually, in Khmer New Year, we mostly um, um, people, um, you know, people Cambodian mostly uh, make ansam. Ansam. Yeah, ansam. It is one of the you know Cambodian. Um, what is that? Is a chicken, a pork? Um. Well, here is the picture, and um, they have stick. We made it from sticky rice, and we have pork inside. Oh, yeah, we have pork inside, or or we can have um, banana. We have banana uh, ansam and um, 
um, pork on the sum. So um, pork on the sum also have beans around the, the pork and it's um, wrapped around the banana leaf. Oh, and they boil it. Yes, and some I remember that in the province we yeah, that, right? in the province we yeah, ate that. And then we put um, banana leaves. Yeah, banana, banana leaves, leaves and yes. also the sticky rice and inside. Yes. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, because because the pork is um, it's not cooked. No, we have to. It's it has to be cooked. Oh, it's good. half cooked. No, full cooked. Because I taste it. It's Maybe like, you it's get like you get the one cooked. that not yet cooked. Maybe you get the, the not good one. Yeah, but I like the sticker rice. The sticker rice. And it's too big, right? Yeah. It's too big and it's too bundle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's too big. And also, um, that is just the food. Uh, that is just the, you know, traditional. Um, you should, it's you should. kind of dessert or something. Oh, yeah, okay. it, it, it's like a dessert, actually. It's, it's our snacks, we can. And, um, but mostly, we cook like every food to bring to um, the pag pagoda. Pagoda. Yeah, so we bring so food pray. to pagoda and we praise and something like that. And you know, we celebrate. So um, yeah. since we mentioned about pagoda, what is pagoda? Pagoda, pagoda is the place that um, religion, re about the religion, the okay. Buddhism, the Buddhism. Oh, so it is the place that you will we pray, pray? Yeah, we go and pray. Pray for the, yeah, pray for the ancestors, ancestors. or um, pray to God. Oh, or going okay. for the wishing or something like that. Oh, yeah. It's of it's like in the Philippines we have church. Oh Is yeah, church. The same? Yeah, yeah, oh, okay. yeah, something like that. Okay, I see. So, um, for the next question, what is the most important festival in Cambodia? Okay, so um, the most important festival, so, okay. I think it is um, Khmer New Year. Khmer New Year. Yeah, but we also have Pchumban Day. It is also the celebration for uh, you know Cambodian. They um, go to the pagoda. They um, you know pray um, pray for the ancestor, giving foods or it's it's something about this. And also the, there is the other celebration called um, water festival mm -hmm. that they also have the boat racing. Oh, you know, I see. And, you know, so oh, in the in the Mekong River. Yes. Okay. And also the other I did not small celebration also, but mostly Khmer New Year is one of the most and the biggest one. For the festival in yes. Cambodia. So in the Philippines, guys, um, we have a lot of festival, different provinces. We have a lot of festival, but in my province, we have um, we call it Sinulog Festival because um, that is one of the biggest festival in Cebu. That is my province, and um, we celebrate it every January in the third week of January if I'm not mistaken and because of that uh, we we, be, uh, we celebrate that because of uh, the baby Jesus it's what we called um, Santo Nino and Cebu and for the next question <laughs> <laughs> um, what you usually do in Khmer New Year? well um, in Khmer New Year um, People mostly um, visit their province. Okay. Like um, if they are living in the city, they might um, you know visit Go their province. Yeah. Or they visit their rel relative. Okay. Yeah. So they relate. Um, relative. Yeah. Okay. They visit their relative. We also um, go to pagoda. Uh, yeah. yeah. The one that you mentioned a while yes. ago. Yes. We also go into the pagoda just to, you know to pray. Um, and also we have um, our like traditional games. Oh, we have games. Yes, we also play games in the pagoda. So what? What the name? What we the have name? Um, the game called um, Ting Prot. Okay. Ting Prot. It is like um, the we um, what do we call it in English? We pull. Yeah. We pull something. String pulling. Oh, okay, something. Yeah, like the that. string pulling. Um, the I will show Khmer, the picture. Yeah, here. in Khmer we call Ting Prot. So this game also one of the World Heritage of Cambodia. Uh -huh. Yeah. So. Um, you know, it is really famous also, and we have many more games like Bangkong or Tungratkong um, uh, or some. There's a lot of Cambodian games that we can play um, um, in, the in the pagoda. Yeah, and also people um, dancing in the pagoda. Yeah, um, dancing, dancing, singing, playing game, visit. There the is province. a singing or no? No, 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 not singing. Not singing, dancing. Yeah. I, I, I thought before that pagoda is um, you cannot do something. You, you can also do 
games and dance. No, because in the because pagoda, pagoda is, um, it's so silent place. No, actually pagoda we have like um, the area, right? We have yeah. the very um, the feel, the area feel, and also pagoda. So in the pagoda, um, mm. we go and respect them inside. So you, know, you have another place. So you have another place to game. And also the other place here is for the game. The game and then, yes. oh, okay. And for dancing. Okay, so every pagoda has that. Yes. Ah, I see. So um, in the Philippines, what we usually do in New Year, uh, before January 1st, um, we will prepare food. December 31 at night, we prepare food and a lot of foods. And then we buy um, fruits that is um, circle, like orange, grapes, mm -hmm. because we believe that that is a sign of uh, money. Mm -hmm. a circle one and also uh, the food that we prepare for that um, for our uh, new year is we prepare uh, lich lichon and different kind of uh, salad mango float and adobo a lot of foods we prepare actually any kind of foods we don't have specific food but usually um, some people or almost all of the people prepare the lichon the the fried pig <laughs> That's oh, it. Yeah. yeah, the big one. Yeah, I I saw that a lot. Um, when there is when there is um Chinese New Year. Yeah. And by the way, we also have a uh, fireworks display in every. Yes. Yeah. We oh, also, we also. You also have fireworks. Yeah, we also have fireworks. Year. Yeah. Okay. Mostly, um, in Phnom Penh. In, Penh. in the city. In the city. Yes, yeah. actually, in the and city. Do that usually, in the do city. that is uh the uh, the people usually do that is um the people is who is who can afford fireworks also the buildings or the company that can afford fireworks mm. so we Ooh. just watch for it and see like oh well it's nice something like that we also have the um the um the fire the flying fire in the candle oh the crocker yeah the the fly. Boom? no Mm. It's the fire inside, the candle inside, and um, it is in Cambodia. We have the oh, shape of the star, the shape of the star, and then um, the fire inside. And then it will fly. Yeah, it will. Oh, fly it's like Vietnam. Something like that. It's like also in Vietnam, right? There's in the yeah, Vietnam. Yeah, I don't know, but in Cambodia we also have that. Oh, I see. It's yeah. nice. And you can wish. Yeah, we can wish. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, I see. So for my last question, um. What is the zodiac sign for Kamai New Year this 2021? So in this year, um, our zodiac sign is um, cow. Cow. Yeah. In Khmer, we can say Chnam Chlo. Chnam Chlo. Yeah. Chnam Chlo. Chnam Chlo. Chnam Chlo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, for the Philippines, actually, we know already. It. Uh, it's a uh, ox. The year of the ox. 2021 is the year of the ox. We so guys, um, that's it. That is uh, the question that I have for my friend. Is, uh, this is the eight questions for Kamai Nguyen. <laughs> so I, <laughs> so I think, um, I mean, I hope that you uh, learn about Kamai New Year here in Cambodia. Kamai New Year or Cambodia New Year. Actually, it is uh, we have a different New Year because we j the the Cambodia celebrate its own New Year. They do not celebrate together. Actually, you did celebrate together in January first, but um, they also have another New Year, which is uh, every April of the year, and sometimes it will be 13, 14, 15, 16, or. Uh, 14 15 and 16 so I hope that you learned something about this video and if you learned something about this video please don't forget to like subscribe my channel and also please don't forget to share sharing is loving sharing is caring so do not forget about it <laughs> so guys um, that's all and I hope that you um, have some fun with this video and of course please do not forget to subscribe to my channel mm -hmm. follow to my tiktok and please like yes it's to my facebook page okay thank you so much guys and take care everyone bye bye goodbye bye bye